you, Gabriel. Just wear the vest. May, may I suggest that you're being overly cautious? Humor me. Um, I mean, Franco is peculiar, and I mean, his subject matter is provocative and disturbing, but I mean, it's such as the role of the artist in society, and then the fact that Franco has created a genre that's gained popularity and is in, 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 indeed lucrative, I mean, so much the better, right? Not necessarily. Okay, yeah, his material is, is dark, but that doesn't mean that the artist himself is dangerous or that his motives are sinister. I mean, look, I mean, his actions prove the otherwise. Look at all the ways that you, he's tried to contact you. They're all nonviolent. What? Waving at a camera, asking for an introduction at a gallery, giving you an interesting work of art that contains an invitation. It's loaded with clues. The guy is weird, Spinelli. All right. Maybe I just empathize with one who is less than gifted at the standard routines of social interaction and might be a little misunderstood. So you don't see him as a threat at all? Well, I mean, there's no way to completely rule out the variable of danger in any situation, but maybe, <coughs> so cool, maybe he just wants to be friends. Can you please just wear the best? <sighs> Sam, if Franco wants to kill me, the best isn't going to stop. And I really don't want to be aggressive with this guy. I need to find out what he wants first before I piss him off. Okay, good. Then I'll come along as well. No, you're not, you're not going to come with me. What's between me and Franco? I, I need to confront him alone. Just try not to worry. You're really okay. <laughs> I'm glad it's just you here. You can help me take some measurements. You know, when I was talking about the whole man cave thing earlier, I wasn't really serious, but then I thought about it, and this place actually could really use a makeover. Good thing Jason can afford for me to do whatever I want. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. I mean, poor Spinelli. I can't believe he actually sleeps in a pink bedroom, and there's a pool table where the dining room table should be. All of this furniture looks rented, and there's not one space downstairs for Spinelli to call his own. I think that that's unfair, even though he would never really complain. You're trying to compensate for the fact that something happened with Franco. Nothing happened with Franco. Nothing that, you know, matters anyway. Kate made it very clear that I needed to lock Franco down for the Crimson photo shoot, which I didn't do, but I will. And anything beyond that creepy photo he took of me it was a, a slip. A momentary lapse in judgment, a mistake that Spinelli never needs to know about, right? <laughs> do you have any idea what's at stake here? Franco came back. Jason went over to his studio. Oh, good. That's great. Do you think maybe Jason could pick up the other pictures Franco might have taken of me? I don't think that would be Jason's first priority. Maybe I should just call him really quick, see if he could drop a couple minutes. Well, don't don't call him. He doesn't need any distractions. Look, Franco is a successful artist. Yes, he is intense and weird and incredibly good looking, but I don't think he's dangerous. Really, are you sure about that? Yes, he had plenty of chances to hurt me after we left his opening together, which was a stupid decision on my part, but he didn't. Yeah, okay, he didn't, but it doesn't mean that nothing's gonna happen to Jason. But if Franco is obsessed with Jason, you know, maybe Jason could mention something about the photo shoot. I know it's me asking the impossible for Jason to drop a good word for me, but- Would you just stop it? What? What do you mean, what? Jason is out there risking his life and all you care about is covering up the fact that you slept with Franco?
took you long enough. Welcome. Sorry. I don't mean to be rude, but you're a little slow picking up the hints. Or you're just playing hard to get. It's too much. I knew it. Don't want to send the wrong message. Franco. Just Franco. Like Madonna. It's a pleasure and a privilege, Mr. Morgan. Can I call you Jason? Is out there risking his life and all you care about is covering up the fact that you slept with Franco? That wasn't nice. The truth can be hard to hear. Why are you being so judgmental? You're supposed to be my friend. I am your friend, but guess what? I'm Spinelli's friend too. Well then take a page from his book and try to think the best of me first. Instead of accusing me of cheating with Franco when you don't know what really happened. Can I offer you anything? Uh, champagne, hors d'oeuvres, uh, I've got beer, chips and dip, uh, M&M's. I only have the red ones though. The other colors taste different. Did you ever notice that? I didn't come here to eat. He speaks. We're making progress. What do you want? You're not much for small talk, are you? <laughs> you sure I can't tempt you? Uh, you're a beer man, right? You set me up so I can find you. Why? Why the hell not? Sorry, this, this weirdness with Franco and Jason just has me on edge right now. And if I sounded judgmental, and if I accused you of doing something that you didn't, I, I apologize. Oh, this is so wrong. You shouldn't be apologizing. You didn't sleep with Franco behind your boyfriend's back. I did that. And I guess that I got offended because you acted like me sleeping with Franco was a given or something. And I don't want you to think that I planned it or expected it. It just, just sort of happened. What do you mean it just happened? Well, I felt like I got swept up in something that I couldn't necessarily get out of. I don't even know how I actually ended up sleeping with him. I wish I could tell you that I was wasted or something, but I wasn't. It's like he willed it and it had to be. And I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. He's that charismatic? More than that. It's like hypnotic. Oh, well that disturbing. Least. It sounds like he could potentially be a cult leader. Yeah, he totally could. And I guarantee that if you were in the same position as me under the same circumstances, you might have slept with him too. Not now. No. Uh -huh. Yeah, because you're, you know, so much older than me and more evolved. But look, what happened with Franco that night was the closest that I ever want to come to having my will taken over by someone else. Anyway, Spinelli, he, it would kill him if he knew what I did. It would break his trust. I, I think you've already done that. I know, Sam, uh, I just promise me you're not gonna be the no, one to tell him. are you kidding me? Don't worry, I have no desire to be the messenger at all. Thank you. Maxie, you should consider yourself really lucky. I mean, you slept with this guy and you got away and I'm sure there are many cases where that didn't happen. Do you really think Franco could be a killer? I think that he is a dangerous man who could do anything for reasons that none of us can comprehend. And now he's fixated on Jason. <laughs>